If you're a Mac user, you've probably seen one of these before. It's the mouse that used to come bundled with Mac computers. It's a one-click operation and it's pretty simple to use. Here's the mouse that I use with my Mac with Mixbus. It's got a left click, a right click, a wheel, and then the wheel is also clickable. This is your standard three button mouse and you can pick one up anywhere for about $10 or less. Using a three button mouse with Mixbus allows you to use features such as right click context menus. Many of the interface items in Mixbus can be right clicked. Let's give it a try. As I right click on a region, I get one context menu. If I create a range on the timeline, I get a completely different menu when I right click. I can right click to change my clocks. I can come to the track list here and I get a different set of options. Same thing with the regions list. Try right clicking on multiple interface items. You'll find things that you didn't even think you could right click on. For instance, the solo and the mute down here. When I right click, it brings me up different options. Sometimes I can discover things I didn't even know were options in Mixbus. And here's how I typically add a plugin in Mixbus by right clicking on the redirect box. It allows me to add by manufacturer. Here are some of the edit window shortcuts you get when using a three button mouse. If I hold shift and move the mouse wheel, I can move quickly left and right through my timeline. I find this easy for finding my edit points or if I'm looking for a specific part of the song, I just hold shift and move left and right. If I hold command and move the mouse wheel, I can quickly zoom the timeline in and out. And this is cursor dependent, so put it about where you'd like it to zoom in on. I find this easy for if I have a larger song and I need to get it to a specific edit point, I can zoom out and find it quickly. If I hold command while dragging a region, I can copy that region quickly. If I click with my mouse wheel and drag a region, it stays locked in place. This is helpful for preventing phasing among multiple mic recordings. If I right click and drag in the loop and punch range, I can set my ranges really quickly. As you can see, this is a quick way to set punch-ins, so it's really useful in recording sessions. Here are some mouse shortcuts for the mix window. Double clicking on a plugin name opens the plugin. If you double click in the redirect box, you can quickly search for and insert a plugin. Knobs that you see in the mix window can be adjusted with the mouse wheel. This is a quick and easy way to adjust parameters and it makes mixing fast and fun. If you made a change that you don't like, you can always double click on the knobs to reset them to their default value. You can adjust a knob in smaller increments if you hold control and click and drag. My favorite mix window shortcut is mouse wheel clicking on plugin names to activate and deactivate them. It's a fast and easy way to hear what plugins are doing to my tracks.